bronze. Whatever. So, welcome to the first episode of the travel trip. This is our first day of driving and our first stop. We're somewhere in Ohio, mystery location. I'm in the shop of a YouTuber. I have no right to be in the shop of. Um, you might have heard of Peter Streipel. Um, and he is actually making a electric, an electric paramotor, but um, not like the normal electric paramotors. So it's like slightly, slightly different than a normal electric paramotor. Tucker, initial first impressions on this thing. I think it's the best thing I've ever seen on this thing. Yeah, in terms of design, zero torque. Oh well, yeah, that's one huge benefit. Is that the good duct tape? This is actually bad duct tape. This is duct brand duct tape. I have not had super great experiences with them. I like 3M or Gorilla duct tape better, but this will work perfect for tonight. It works. Boy. I think it's gonna fly. I think I think it'll Pretty fly too. That, that was yeah. like just two out of nine on the throttle scale. So, uh, so right there, that is. Um, that's a paramotor, apparently. It's a, it's a Peter Streipel creation. 50 ducted fans on here, powered by multiple LiPo batteries, duct taped to the frame, right? For a while, in the electric paramotor world, everyone's like, oh, don't, don't use LiPos, they, they catch on fire. But um, when you're using them in this application with 50 ducted fans, fine. That works. Oh, yeah, and the throttle is... Uh, it's freehand. It's like the base no, toggle. I have the best idea. Just duct tape it to your hand. Yeah. Just for the full effect, please. <laughs> I'm going with that. Move these back, right? Say. If it's leaning forward, you need to move them forward. If it's leaning, like scoot all the way back. Scoot all the way back. Pick your knees up. That's all. That's all the way back. That honestly oh, doesn't look bad. It'll be fine. You think? Okay. Well, yeah, the battery's on it now because I never hung it with the batteries, yeah. and it, it is more weight back. Do you there. feel like comfortable in the harness? Like you're not. Fine. I didn't feel like I'm gonna fall out. Because like your angle just a hair down. Okay. Which like on a normal single mm -hmm. propeller is ideal, but okay. with this, I would think like straight vertical would be better. But then you might be falling out the front. Oh, wow. That's so loud. It does push. <laughs> not earplugs. too much. You might want earplugs. That's a horrible sound. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Alright, so got the paramotor. It runs, apparently. That's a scary noise. Uh, we're gonna head out to the field and, and give it a flight. All right, so I feel as though I need to fill you guys in. We are out here in some random location in Ohio with uh, the YouTuber Peter Stripel. Um, you may have heard of him. He has a small YouTube channel. Um, anyway, his shop was amazing. I was like losing my mind. But he built this electric paramotor with 50 ducted fan drone motors um, and like eight or 10 four cell LiPo batteries are duct taped to the thing and he thinks it's gonna fly. It makes about 100 pounds of thrust. So we are headed out to the field um, to go test this thing. This is the same guy who built an electric styrofoam airplane and flew it, like, like a full-size plane and flew it. So I, I have confidence. He, he seems very confident in this idea, so. Butter. That looked fine. All right, so this is undisclosed field number two. That's a wing. Peter's gonna go for the first flight on the thing. <laughs> Please be safe. Winds are good. Don't crash it into the hangar. Good, buddy. 
Leaf Power. He's doing it! Oh my gosh! Oh shit! Dude! Oh man! Careful, Peter! Full power! Dude, it does not climb. Careful, Peter. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen! What? Dude! You got it, oh buddy. my gosh! Flare! <laughs> Bro! Barely warm. That was insane. That was the most insane thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> How did it sound? It sounded good from here. It's right, not it too much. I'm down. <laughs> I'm so down. It looked like... Okay, that... That might have been the most insane thing I've ever seen a paramotor do ever. Beyond infinite tumbles, beyond seeing people do helis in person, like... That was... The noise, the just sheer look of the thing, absolutely insane. So, Peter's so generous, he's gonna actually let Tucker and I fly it, so... I think Tucker's gonna fly it, and God willing, there's enough battery in it. I'm gonna get to fly it. Tucker, on a scale from like, shit your pants, nervous to like, this is fine. How are you feeling? Um, I think it's fine, honestly. After watching Peter do it, like, I do weigh 20 pounds more than him. The air's not perfect. Just let her eat. Let her eat. <laughs> Full power. We're in for a treat because we're gonna see him fly this crazy thing. Let's grab a little piece right. of that. One this, use. Like this way, or um, we can go, or go under. Okay. Yeah. That seems about right. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. You're comfortable with that, right? Yeah, I can't drop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wing works. It's not getting him off the ground very well. Oh, he's climbing. Oh my gosh. You gotta understand this sound is like deafening. He stood it up. So I need to add more motors to it. It's not quite enough for your average pilot. I'm a little bit of a lightweight, so. I think I'll do fine. All right, so Tucker didn't have enough power to keep it up, but we're headed down the field on the one wheel to see what his initial fir whoa, first reactions are. Dude, sick foot drag. Yo, did you see that? Yeah, you blew it. I blew an electric fire motor. Yeah. 50 motors at once. It sounds insane. <laughs> it kind of smells. Bernie? Like something. Maybe it's the wing. I hope it's the wing. I'd love to fly it. <laughs> I feel like my weight difference was like just enough that I was like, I could turn downwind, but I'd probably eat it in the soybeans. Yeah, and there's like a random power line over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> it worked. It definitely works. It needs more power. I'm gonna have to do something about that. What did you think? The first <laughs> bit, I was like, this isn't gonna work, and then I got a little altitude, like then I, I was pushed like, off. We started to go. A yeah, I was gonna make the turn, but I'm like, eh, I'd probably end up in the soybeans. <laughs> uh, I'll. I'll take this. Okay. Contraption. Yeah. That's the detonator. Alright, I have a live Bluetooth throttle duct taped to my hand. This is probably the most sketchy throttle I've ever flown. Tucker's gonna run my camera and document it. That's a weird feeling. Come on! Oh! Oh, dude! Oh, dude, we're up! Oh my gosh, it's working! Holy crap! Holy crap, that's a lot of fans behind me! Oh! Please climb! Please climb! I'm gonna turn the downwind! Oh man! Oh man! Please stay climbing! 
Oh, holy crap. It might be losing power, I'm not sure. <laughs> holy freaking crap, dude. This is arguably some of the craziest paramotor flying I've ever done. Yeah, it has like nearly no power. It's dying. It's dying! We're gonna land it! Oh, it died. <laughs> Dude! That had to be one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had flying. <laughs> Alright, clear. It made the like beep beep noise on final. Okay, yeah, cuz I heard that was like, what the hell's But it was like dying. Okay, so yeah, it was just getting Yeah, it was losing power. I feel so electrified right now. With the one wheel. Are you sure you're not amped up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got any other electricity puns? Yeah. I don't know, I can't resist making them. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. Thank you so much to Peter Stripel and the gang for allowing me to fly his crazy, crazy contraption. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to the channel after this one, hey, drop a subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, say you're new, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, fly good, don't suck, peace out. Chipotle aesthetic. Whoa. All right, you gotta see this. Come on, open it. They hook me up with so much, dude, like, the most Glock ever. Shout out to them back there. That is next level.